I think I'm here. Just walked in, basically. Hey, Pepe. You there? Hey, sorry guys, um, had a work meeting, there's a windstorm and a tree over the train tracks and the train was half hour late and so on and so on and so on and so on, there's a lot of stuff happening, but I got here, it's been a pretty crazy day, hi Tinker, um, thanks for sending those tools, they come in pretty handy during the week. My mess is a, a cra my workbench is a crazy mess. Hey Chirpy, um, your castings arrived. Very big thanks. I'm not going to do an a, an unboxing or a, anything about that until you've got your bit, so we can do them together. <sighs> We're working on. A Hornby O gauge restoration that's coming together nicely. It's looking about a thousand times better than it was. What else are we on? I don't know if anyone's seen these V blocks. These were a gift uh, from Mark Lacour. Mark. Mark Lacour. Mark Lacoya. In Canada, anyway, that craziest machinist, they come out occasionally. He made them on his channel, and there's some videos if you want to go and have a look. That lazy machinist, and I get them out occasionally. So, that's a, I haven't even cleaned the bench off tonight, which is terrible. The place is an absolute mess. I'm probably going to run into the other room and just grab some stuff. Yeah, I'm back. We've got someone else there now. Someone's found the stream. Sorry there was no notification. I did really struggle to get it back here by 8 o'clock tonight. I, I tried pretty hard. JB, hello. Job I more or less finished is these two mandrels for the chucks they're all down to size they're pretty close they're nice and parallel I'm really pleased with them sending these through to John Creasy probably tomorrow and he's going to put a three quarter sixteen thread on there to fit these chucks And a 11.5 by 1 mil, I think it is. Uh, fit the thread on that. The same as this one on the collet on the other end. Then this part's drilled out with the centre in it. 
when when I've got keyways in them, put them back in a lathe and drill them right through so that they go right through. And hopefully this draw bar will screw up on there. Pull up against this taper on the keyway and we'll have a nice solid chuck mount for two little chucks. I'll probably end up lock tightening them together and then we can forward and reverse them, all those sort of things. So that's one project. We've got these two little V-blocks out to, to put keyways in them, but that hasn't happened yet. We'll probably put some threads on them first, so I'll send them away. John's very kindly offered to do them. Finish on the mandrels. Silky. Um, not too shabby. You can't really feel anything much there with a fingernail. This is D2's tool steel. Um, it's pretty hard stuff. I got... We want to have a look in the swarf bag. Which is where we're at at the moment. I haven't actually tossed it. But there's a lot of this stringy blue swarf. It's not even sharp, it's just crunchy and it, it breaks very easily because it is a tool steel. But that's what you get off D2. It's, it's treacherous stuff. Getting it to chip break is pretty tricky. Especially on my machine, we haven't really got enough horsepower. So yeah, a new wig would be nice, awesome. It's awful. But we've got that job done. And that's just off one of them. There was another bag off the other one. So. That's one job. Other thing that come this week is one spark plug. Um, Hey Cam. Hey Cam. A um, couple of good video, good videos from Cam on making a flywheel related to this spark plug. Uh, go check them out sometime. This is a NGK CM6. Focus, 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 focus. There we go. Hey, Chirpy. Oh, sorry, you had the wrong stream. I did sort of put two up. I'll explain that again. I did get, I got waylaid with work and the business meeting with some colleagues. And I also got, there's been a storm this afternoon and there was a tree over the train line somewhere. So our train was half hour late and it really wouldn't normally be a problem. But I had another meeting after that and I've only just got home at about 10 past eight. So I apologize. Hey, John. Hey, Tommy. Excellent, excellent, excellent video from Tommy Gun Machining on on the Quick Change Gearbox. Good fun. I'm having more faith in his Quick Change Gearbox than I had, to be honest. That's a little bit rude, perhaps. But, yeah, I, I've been party to too many builds like that that never, ever got finished. But it looks like that's going to be a, a successful one. And it's awesome that we, we're getting to see it. Um, yeah, dog ate mine too. Anyway, that's the spark plug for the for the engine at this point.
So I'm completely and utterly unorganised, and I'm sorry about that. Hi, hi, Ma hi, Mark. So that goes basically in there like that. Probably, that's the idea. Um, if we go to Hot Tube Edition, it'll be the same thread. It'll go in the same hole. But that's the completed cylinder head pro pattern. If anyone saw that, I think I might have showed that. What else is happening? Don't know if there's very much happening. Um, there's like 20 something days for Christmas. It's good, Tom. I'm really pleased you're feeling a bit more confident about that. I, I really think it's going to be a great thing. I think you've done good. But that's just my opinion. These are ready to send. I don't know if you all caught that. Um, patterns go hopefully before Christmas. That's the idea. I want to get them away. I've got another core box to make and it's the most complicated one. So it's probably, it's going to be by Christmas, I hope. I really do. I, I, I don't know how work's going to pan out, what we're going to get done there. Traditionally at Christmas time with work for, for me, December, I don't get anything done. That's looking a little bit different this year, I hope. Um, there are chances that my revenue streams are going to be sort of moving around. So hopefully I get some time to, to, to finish some, some foundry patterns. Um picked up a book this week which is really nice it's 1937 1938 hornby book of trains pretty good fun it's basically o gauge catalog from 1937 don't know if anyone's particularly interested in that but that was a, a pretty cool find santa's probably not bringing anything at this point um I bought myself a Christmas present and I believe it'll probably be here by Christmas. I'm not sure about that, but I think that's the way it is. I've just paid for an upgrade or I'm about to pay for an upgrade to it, which something that never ends. But um, hopefully that that's here by Christmas. And that's the, the Hotshot 360 oven from Stan Zinkowski at Barzi Industrial. I don't know if anyone's seen that, but have a look at his channel if you haven't. Um it's a nice oven and I've just upgraded to a process controller rather than just a temperature controller. So hopefully we can do ramp and and soak and all those sort of things and annealing, that sort of thing. Hopefully with it, that'll depend on me and also depend on finding some space to put it. But that for me is my Christmas present, I think. Is the art in these books are amazing. I uh, Meccano Limited in Liverpool, 1937. It's got a little bit of full-size railway pictures and things, and then it goes to some amazing, amazing drawings. I guess they're artist retouched photographs, probably, black and white photographs that have been retouched. But there's some pretty nice stuff in here. If you've got one of these, they bring in about three grand now. There's, this is what Christmases were made of in 1937, I think, for most boys. Probably a lot of people. Probably a lot of dads, actually. And, yeah, anything in this catalogue, if you want to send me for Christmas, it would make my day too. 
especially one of those electric locos. So it's a bit cute, nice artwork, it's all hand retouched, I think. There'd be photographs that have been retouched either with the airbrush or which was quite common or, or just a paintbrush and inks. So it's 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 pretty crazy to have that job as an illustrator. Now we have Photoshop and you still don't get stuff anywhere near as nice. So there's my little rant for the night. <laughs> yeah, 1937 is so long ago and you, you, you don't even credit it that there's still books or catalogues available for them. Someone's kept this all those years. Bit of artistic license in this picture. Um, there's only two splashes and three driving wheels. Um, few things like that, but it's not a bad picture. 1927, the, the artwork here is dated, so it's obviously artwork that that was used a fair bit by Hornby over the years. Um, this is a Hornby restoration project that's that's in progress, a little tank logo. It's still not quite right. It's got a bit of a bend in there and these tabs aren't down properly. You know, just that's got a bit of a twist in it. It's all fixable. This is the original tank with the SO writing on it. I've got to replicate this somehow. I'm still thinking about that. Um, probably I'm going to cut this in vinyl or something and use that as a mask. Not sure yet. If anyone's got any ideas about that, it's got to be the same on both sides and just the same as that. Just simple. There's no other writing on it. Just SO. If anyone has any ideas about that, there are some airbrush gurus amongst the audience. I know of that. Has anyone used that deck or water slide paper? I'd be interested to know i've seen it but i'm not sure about it anyway that's a, that's another project that we're working on um haven't started the steady i've been working through the swarf on these and getting that sorted um i'm also working on some new sticker artwork and probably some t-shirt artwork don't know if anyone's interested in that, but it might be fun to get some made for myself anyway. So that's something that's probably going to come up in the next little while. I'll be in touch about that tinker. That might work too, Chirpy. I'm sort of, yeah, that's interesting. You guys might have some good ideas there. It's a standard logo. It's all over the net. It's just a matter of getting the dimensions right because I think it's been stretched a bit. But um, certainly can find you some graphics. I'll measure that up before we start. But I haven't repainted that. Rather than paint it silver again with and do a actual factual restoration of it i've done for a completely different color and then everyone knows it's been restored and i can do a nice job and get away with it and i'm not trying to sell something that's might be original i might not so this one's for my personal collection because it's all there but at this point we're going yellow with black writing and that's why i've done that um Busted so many tips this week. I've got Oops. so many of these with broken corners. Um, that stuff's pretty pretty tough. Thanks, Tinker. That stuff's pretty tough and. Um, D2 is pretty hard on inserts, but we've got them there. D2 
don't know much else really. I am sort of haven't got a lot. I've got a new computer monitor this week, which is really nice. Um, I actually can see things again and it's a little bit bigger, so that works beautifully. Um, I've got sand, I've got water glass, I've got I actually went and bought some proper water glass and that's that's on its way um, from foundry supplies. And I've got everything to test these cores and to to make sure everything works before we send them away. So that, that's on the cards too for this next weekend if I get time. But apart from that here I've got a, a crazy mess because usually Wednesday night I come home and, and clean the, the workbench but it hasn't happened this time. Stefan's the daylight saving issues that are playing up with him. Um, I talked to him at lunchtime and he sort of, yeah, making it at this point or at this time when it's his lunch hour at work is it's not always as easy as it could be. So I don't think we'll see him tonight. Yeah, I'm not real happy with this bench cam. It's it's a colossal mess. Usually I've got things put away, but I've got my nice don't know if you got that right at the start. Um these these V blocks come from Mark and that lazy machinist in Canada. They were a gift. He made them in a video on his channel if you want to go and have a look. Um he's got some great videos. Check out that lazy machinist. Um, ball hand wheel. Ball hand wheel. Hang on. What's the hand wheel ball hand wheel for? This one. This is a drawbar for my tail stock. It's actually not the drawbar for my tail stock. But it's a drawbar for a tail stock the same as mine. I don't know if that makes any sense. Um, for a simple reason that my tail stock has got provision for gear cut or for screw cutting eventually. So it's quite a bit longer than the, the standard tail stock. This is the drawbar for the standard tail stock. It's got thread in the end for the collets that goes through the spindle. Um, and the tail stock that's in the lathe, or the, the, the drawbar that's in the lathe at the moment, this has had a hard life too, this one, is in much nicer condition and it's about that much longer because there's spindles that much longer for the, the um, guides for the thread chasing attachment. So... I've got to send that to John Creasy and he's going to cut these mandrels to fit the thread to fit that drawbar. And he's going to thread these to fit this like such. And then hopefully we've got a couple of mandrels for decent chucks. We can do some accurate light work, which at the moment we really can't. So big thanks, John. Um, what else? Some cool pattern making videos recently from Chirpy. I've seen them. You'll be fine, John. You'll be fine. You're not never ever nervous AF. It's not who you are. Um, good video of making a flywheel from from Cam. Some good pattern making videos this week from from Chirpy. There's. A really good update video on the quick change tool pop post from from Tom at Tommy Gun Machining. <laughs> the 
This is all body filler. I all I've, the only difference is, Chirpy, is I've got pretty paint on mine. That, that's all it is. It's the only difference. You've got no idea how much body filler is in my patterns. That's where you've got to be. At least you've got decent putty filler over there. We don't get water putty here. I can't seem to get it. Clark was going to send me some. Um, I don't think that's happened yet, and that's okay too because he's busy and he's got other stuff happening, and he owes I owe him enough favours already. But um, I'd like some some water putty over here in Australia. Um. I think I showed these. If you're looking for a drive dog, these are just shaft colours from the bearing services with a bolt in them and a grub screw in the other hole. Hey Duncan. They're all right, Chirpy, you're right. Oh, that's awesome. So these are the drive dogs that I use to to set this up between centers. I have got proper ones, but not up to that size. So this is my, my actual launch set. It's a 10 millimeter one, which goes on the shaft, and that's got the pin in the right spot to drive it on the on the dog plate. I've got a set of them. So, there we go. He said he's going to rush my patterns, my, my castings through Chirpy, but I really, he's a busy guy. He's got heaps of work, so I'm not really holding him to that. And I don't think he's the sort of guy you can just throw money at and expect to get him to jump either. So I'm just going to have to be patient, I think. Hey, Danny. Anyway, that's sort of what's happening. We've been half hour. Um, there's, there's not a lot. It's good to catch up with everyone. I've got stuff going on at work. I'm just organising a display cabinet to go into an antique shop, a big display cabinet I bought. And that's all happening this week too. There's, this, my life's a bit crazy at the moment, so... Oh, well, thanks for the heads up, Chirpy. I'm going to call it a night. Thanks for checking in, everyone. Um, be nice to each other, and especially to me. Um, send me Christmas presents. No, I don't mean that. I've got no space for what I have got. Hopefully, we can keep you updated with the oven. I hope that's here soon. I'm looking forward to that. Um, we might have to make another set of these if they get mucked up. So, I don't think they will. And I've got a bit of a care parcel going to you, John. So, there's there's a bit of stuff in with it, and I'll send that tomorrow. Um, that's about it. We'll see you soon. <laughs>